Can't even see what's in front and face. Hey, I got here as soon as I could. What's wrong? What's wrong? Is it Amanda? I blew it, Josie. I think I lost her for good this time. Wake up, Amanda. I haven't got another 200 years. Your spirit is emerging within Amanda more and more each day. That's why she's getting headaches and acting strangely. This is a war, darling. And you must win it. But how? By breaking the connection with Cameron. Persuading her to give herself to David Halliday in every way. Oh. oh! I'm so sorry. Did I? Of course I did. I'm such an idiot. No, it's, uh, it's okay. Uh, you've been been sleeping all afternoon. I have? Yeah. The whole time you had the faintest, most angelic smile on your face. Maybe that's because I feel safe here. Thank you. For what? For taking me in. Now that I know that Cameron has been working with Jordan Stark, you're the only one that I can turn to. I'm here, Amanda. Whatever you need. Caps. You know, I've been going over your statement backwards and forwards, and I don't know, maybe I'm missing something. It doesn't add up. What do you mean? Well, let's take self-defense, shall we? Um, how is it that you needed to defend yourself from a man who, moments before you got there, was out cold on the floor? I told you, Grant. I know what you, you told but... me. I can't make it fit. And if I can't make it fit, the judge won't be able to make it fit either. So, why don't you be really straight with me and tell me what really happened when you found Grant that night? Wait, where'd you put that bucket? I gotta show it to Rachel. She's not gonna give me the goods. What do you think you're doing? Joe, hey, man, glad you're here. I just... Can it! What's the matter, Tito? Paulina didn't come up with enough cash, and now you're gonna rip her off? What's going on here? Jake, the judge wouldn't wait. I had to make a decision on my own. I don't believe this, Vicky. Marley? <laughs> this is the oh first God. time I've seen you without your wheelchair. I've heard, but I didn't know how wonderful. Know. Well, it's not as wonderful as seeing you in this room. Did she come home with you? Did this just happen just now? How did this happen? Well, I'm trying to figure it out, Donna. Well, the judge... The judge said that I could go free on bail if Vicky would take me home with her. Finally! Somebody who believes in the fairness of the judicial system. <laughs> I would have loved to have a chance to make this decision together, but... Uh, I really had no choice, you don't, see? Don't bother, all right? Jake? This is not gonna happen, no matter what you say, so save your breath. Now, come on, Vicky, we talked about this. You agreed. Even Tyrone said it wasn't a good idea for her to live here. We are not one big happy family. I, I know that. This is the woman that tried to kill you, Vicky. She's also my sister and my daughter. If you could have heard the doctors, I'm sure you would feel better about this. They testified that I really am better. Victoria can tell you. It's true. They did a lot of tests that backed up what they were saying. Now, I, I know this comes as a shock, shock but if, shock if you would... Shock begin to describe what I'm The minute the Vicky. psychiatrist said that she was competent to stand trial, she couldn't go back to Willowdale, and I wasn't going to send her back to jail. Now, the judge said 
that she could come home if she was in the custody of a family you member. Could, you and couldn't that call me, Vic. You couldn't take five minutes out of your busy day to, to call me and talk to me that's about what this? I was trying to talk the judge into letting me do it. And then Cindy came blasting in, saying that Marley shouldn't be released. So the judge had to call a recess. And, and then by, by the time we finally got back on track, I mean, he wasn't going to give another recess so I could, I could call my husband. He demanded that I make the decision right you then know and there. How I feel about this. It's one thing to let her out at all, it's another thing to move her into our house. Oh. Uh, I'll get it. Oh, sure. Why not? Why not? Hey. Hey, how you doing? Uh, well, how's Jake taking it? Well, see for yourself. Hey, Tyrone, man of the hour. What's happening, man? Don't worry about it. Let her go to the hearing. No problem, right? They're not going to make her live here. Hey, I'll take her to my place. What's the matter, Tyrone? Get some second thoughts. Didn't want a psycho, documented psycho living under Jake, your roof? Jake, be quiet. No, no, look. I gladly would have taken Marley home with me, and I still would do it, because I know she'd be better off with me. But the court, in its infinite wisdom, has decided that Marley belongs with her family. Past history be damned. Oh, is that right? What about my wife? What if she decides she's going to try to kidnap my wife again? What should I do? Run around my house here and try to hide all the sharp objects? Is that going to take the care of everything, Tyrone? The wouldn't have released her if, if they thought she was a Tell you threat. what, why don't you let the doctors take her? Jake. Jake. Why can't you look at this as an opportunity? With all of us helping, we might be able to repair the damage that made Marley ill in the first place. I doubt that, Donna, because A, you're a lousy mother. B, just shut up, all right? Does it really make you feel better to talk to me that way? Hold on, hold on. We need to have a minute to talk. Come on, come on. I don't, Miss Vic. I don't get it. Because as hard as this is, I know it's the right thing to do. That's why, Jake, we can do this, all right? We can do it. We can work together, and we can do this. Not... No way, Vic. Not this. Look, Vicky, I know that you love your sister, and I know that uh, there's things between you that nobody would understand or even come close to, but... I understand it's too much. I mean, you guys are, are too caught up Jake, with each other. Look, I know well, that's the way it together, seems from the outside world. Crazy, world but, literally. What is that supposed to mean, huh? It means that real love, sometimes you have to step back. You have to, you have to separate. You realize you can't fix each other. You have, to, you have to love each other from a healthy distance. Is that right? I, I, I can't step back, you see, because if I give her a healthy distance, she could end up in jail for well, the next see, couple of years. There you go. There, you're starting to do it again, Vicky. You're making it sound like that everything that Marley did was your fault. You don't know where she ends and you begin. That's not true. It is absolutely true. You just can't admit it. When you guys are together, you lose total perspective. Even Tyrone says this is not a good idea. Well, it doesn't have to be as bad as you're making it out to be either. You know, I personally would like to go with what my mother said. Maybe this family could heal a little bit, get past some things. Oh. Jake, we could, we could get some outside help. We could get some family therapy. Work on an obsession of 20 years No, You can count me out on that, Vic. Oh, great. Okay, you're not even going to try. Good. I'm not going to try. I tried up until the day that woman kidnapped you. I tried to help her. I tried to, to make her not hurt because of what I did to her. You know something? It didn't work. Marley is not my priority. You are my priority. The boys are my priority. You think about what it's going to be like living there every, every day, day to day, when the jealousy thing starts happening again, when she starts comparing what you have and, and what she doesn't. You don't think the obsession thing's going to fire off again? Could you accept that maybe she's gotten past that? She has worked hard. What are you talking about in a couple of months, an obsession that took her 20 years? That's not the way it works. And then you got your mother, your mother in there who loves, it, loves to put you guys up against okay, each great. other. Great, so you're just going to go with the worst case scenario then. That's what I got to do if I'm going to protect this family. What about the boys? They, they're terrified of their Aunt Marley. You want to put them through worrying about what she might do to their mom if she has a bad day? No. I want them to learn that people can change. Oh, Vicky, by traumatizing No, them. by being there for them. By helping them face their fears. Marley is their aunt. She loved them. They loved her. I don't know what happened, but somehow she betrayed that trust, and I want them to know that she was sick. I want to be there for them when they deal with their feelings, and, and, and don't just bury them and completely shut down. Hey, what about my feelings? 
You know what I think about? I think about my wife, the woman I love, dying on a cold basement floor. I think about two little boys crying their eyes out at night because they don't know if their mother's coming home again. You know what that does? It makes rage just come inside me. I want to bust right out. Now, maybe you can cut that out of your life, but I can't. I'm sorry, Vicky. I cannot. I will not live with Marley. What'd you do? Pick the lock to get in here? No, no. The door was open. Bull. Come on. The briefing with me. Okay, 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 okay. I picked the lock. I'm... But it's not what you think. Make it good. I just, I wanted to, to bring something to mom and cheer her up. She, this morning when I went to see her, she just, she didn't look good. Maybe because she's facing a murder rap? Look, I know, I know what it's like in there, right? Your mind just keeps racing, keeps going over the same thing. Yeah, so what were you going to bring her? This picture. The, uh, Dante made her. Just thought maybe she could tape it up on the wall or something. That's very touching. Funny. Nobody would even know that I had a kick in the pants just to get you to go visit her in the first oh, place. Come on. You know she asked me to leave. I thought it would stress her out if she knew I was around. Don't think for a split second that I buy this act. Okay? Paulina may think the sun rises and sets on you, but as far as I'm concerned, Tito, you're a punk. Yeah, I know. You made that perfectly clear. Well, maybe I need to make this clear. If you hurt that woman, you're a dead man. Don't you get it? I want to help her. That's my mom in jail. You were right. Okay, you were right. She, she wanted to see me. I'm, I'm new at this family thing. I didn't know she was going to be so psyched when I walked in. Mm. Who, who would think? Who would think all it would take is, is the sight of somebody like me? Yeah. Who would think? Look, Tito, the only reason I haven't run you out of town yet is because of this, this effect you have on my wife. So you're going to keep playing your part. You got that? Yeah. Good. Good. We understand each other. Now, I have something I need you to do. Don't mess it up. I told you everything. And I told you that I really, really hate ambushes. Now, if I go into that courtroom without the full story... There's every nothing more detail... to tell. <laughs> okay. Uh, maybe I missed something the first time around, so let's go over it again, shall we? Uh, why don't you start by telling me what happened after you left the party? I went to find Grant. He was going to expose that I sold my baby, that I sold Tim. He said he had evidence. So you found him? I went into Donna's office and he was lying on the floor. Did you try to help? I thought he was dead already. I saw the envelope with the evidence and I reached in to take it. And? And then he came to, and he grabbed me. He held on to me. Yeah, where did he grab you? It, it happened so fast, I can barely get a picture of my mind cast. Uh, your wrist, you said. Yes, yes, my wrist, and he held me down. With two hands? Yes. And then he grabbed you by the throat with his third hand. What? Well, he must have had a third hand, because you the first time you told me that he went for your throat. No, no, he grabbed me by the wrist and the throat at different times. Don't lie to me, Paul. I'm not lying to you. Why would I lie? You tell me. Come on, you tell me. Hey, hey, hey. It's a little early to start badgering She's the witness. She's changing her story without even trying. The prosecutor's going to rip her apart on the stand. Well, you know, I, I guess I don't really know what to say, because when you, when you put it that way, there's not much room for discussion, is there? No, there isn't. Marley has to stay here. It's a condition of her release. Why don't you unrelease her? Let her go back to jail and get what she deserves. No, she can't go back to jail. Don't you understand that? It would be like cutting off her air supply. She won't get better there, Jake. She needs our support. You know, when Marley walked into the house, you should have seen her. That, that wasn't Marley who kidnapped me. That was Marley, my sister, and I'm not going to lose her again, Jake. She's not going to go back to jail. You know what it does to people, especially someone fragile like Marley. She wouldn't survive one you, second. You, you hear yourself? This is exactly what you want. You're referring to Marley and the poor, fragile state. What are you talking about? She's got you, Donna, Donna, even Tyrone. You're, you're falling all back into what she wants you to do. All you're talking about is what Marley, Marley, Marley needs. No, I'm talking about what I need. I need to do the right thing. Don't you see? I hold the key to her having a normal life. I won't throw it away. I know what I have to do. I've been such a jerk. 
All this time, I thought the problem was Halliday. Hey, stop beating yourself up. It was Jordan. He's the one who's after Amanda. Jordan? How, how do you know this? Have you seen her lately? She walks around half the time. She doesn't even know who I am. She wakes up in the middle of the night from nightmares. She disappears from her house. No one's known where she's been. And you think she's been with Jordan Stark? I don't know. Half the time she shows up at Halliday, but after what I saw, after Lumina tonight. Lumina? Who went to Lumina? Matt took Amanda to Lumina. She wanted to have a big confrontation with Stark. And what happened? Well, she went in there ready to rip his head off, but when she came out, Matt said that something had a hold on her. He said that he, that Jordan told her to stop trusting her own family, and she believed it. Sounds like what happened to Matt. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? But why? What would Jordan Stark want with Amanda? We don't know. Meanwhile, I'm back at the house, and I'm swearing to Rachel at Halliday that he's the problem. No, no, hey, listen, I know you, and your instincts are dead on. If you think David was after Amanda, then he probably... Oh, yeah, he's after her, all right. But he doesn't want to hurt her. He's crazy about her. Just like me. How does she feel? She told me the other day that she uh, needs some space to figure it out. That doesn't mean it's the end, Cameron. Oh, come on, Josie. You can only beat your head up against the wall for so long. I guess it's time I stepped aside. Let Amanda be with somebody who deserves her. Really, Amanda, I'm very glad you came here. Do you think that Cameron has been reporting to Jordan Stark this whole time? And he's telling me that he's protecting me. Well, he certainly played his role well, didn't he? Ah, uh, to be fair, though, I... I understand his desperation. Don't defend him. I'm not. I'm just saying I understand the feeling that he'd do anything to try to get you back. I just don't understand why he had to put you and your family in harm's yeah, way. The worst part is he was blaming you. He said that you were responsible for all the bad things that were happening to me. Oh, I don't care what that man thinks about me. The only opinion that matters is yours. Well... Allie's, of course. Oh, Allie's crazy about you. Maybe it's because she knows I'd rather die than let anything or anyone hurt you. Well, I know, I know, I know. It's not popular these days to talk about protecting a strong, independent woman, but I... <laughs> I have to confess, it's, it's exactly what I want to do. I want to protect you. I want to cherish you. Doesn't scare you, does it? No. It feels kind of wonderful, actually. And please, Amanda. Let me show you how happy I can make you. bath is ready, mademoiselle. Stephanotis, isn't it? I'm really starting to like this fragrance. Bubble Bath is from Paris. It's a little shop in the Boulevard Saint Germain. It's made of pure flower essence. I got it last week while I was on business in London. I thought you said you bought it in Paris. Uh, I'm in a little side trip on the way home. For Bubble Bath? <laughs> For you. Amanda, I would travel the world anything you wanted, anything you needed. I hope you know that by now, don't you? I'm starting to realize that. I hope you also know that I'd never betray you. I'd never try to hurt you. All my life, I've wanted to believe in one undying, eternal love. A soulmate? Yeah. I thought I found her once. 
and then she slipped through my fingers. Everything young inside of me died. And then you came along. You are the woman I've been looking for all these years, Amanda. You're the answer to my every prayer. You can't just back off and walk away, Cameron. Why not? I pushed her away with my jealousy, and I let Jordan, the real threat, move in. I mean, some protection no. I am. No, you were doing what you needed to protect her, to keep her safe, Cameron. You couldn't have known. It doesn't matter now. She has no use for me anymore. You should have seen her face when she came back from that Stark meeting. She looked at me. It was so cold. It was worse than when she found out I was the father of your child. That does not mean that she cannot forgive you. Maybe in the past, but now that Halliday's in the picture. So you're, you're just going to walk away? I never thought I was good enough for her anyway. Halliday, he's, uh, he's got money. He's got an education. They both have the same career interests. Me, you know. What am I? I'm just a guilt-ridden line punk who just can't do anything right. No, Cameron, no. If I knew that you didn't love her and she didn't love you, then I would say, fine, fine, okay, you tried, now let David have her. But you do love her. And love is very precious. You don't want to lose it. I know, I lost it. Gary is an ocean away, and I know that there's nothing I can do to get him back. But you and Amanda, you're still here. You still have a chance. Josie, please. No, Cameron, please. I want to believe. I want, I want to believe that love does not have to die. Please don't give up. Don't give up. Not now. I can't live like this, Vicky. I can't live my life with you, and you always... Shutting me out of these decisions. I mean, this time it's, a, it's what is it, a deep feeling telling you what to do with Marley. You know something? This is kind of developing into a pattern here. What pattern? You, well, how about Grant when I told you that he was on to you and he was going to hurt you? No, you told me. You told me you had to do it. Or... That was totally different, what Jake. About, what about Tyrone when he was coming up with these bogus lawsuits and I told you he was trying to get you to testify before you were ready to do it at Marley's hearing? Okay, what, I'm not allowed to have my own opinion? Is that it? Why is it your opinion always comes out on top? What happened to compromise, huh, Vicky? You! You've got Marley moving into our, our house. Not your house, Vicky. Our house. I don't even get a vote in that. I tried to tell you, Jake. Oh, that's right. You tried to tell me. You tried to tell me. I understand now. What, what does this mean? If I, if I don't do what you want, then I don't love you? Is, is that it? Vic, don't get simplistic on me. I'm talking about common courtesy. When something this major is at stake, you'd, you should try to run it by me instead of you just making your decision on your own, right? I wanted you at the hearing! You're missing the point. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I, I've i never been a Stepford wife. I, I just didn't know you wanted one. Of course, I don't want that. I want the same maddening, beautiful, stubborn woman I had. But you want to control me. Again, okay, I'm not telling you what to do. I'm telling you what I'm going to do. While he stays in that house, I move out. Please tell me I didn't just hear that. I can't stay here. You really think I can help with Marley's recovery? Yes. Oh, yeah, that's right. Tomorrow when she's got a knife and she's cutting into a grapefruit for one of those fancy breakfasts she forces on everybody, maybe I'll take a spoon of... Jake, I need you. Why is that, Vic? You, you didn't seem to need me when you made any of these other decisions. No, I need you. I need you to love me. I, I, I need your strength. I need you to, to help me live my life and, and deal with all the crazy things that happen here. I... Uh, including my wacko family. I think you're on your own on this one. Jake, I love you and you love me. You, you can't do this. What? We're not going to let some silly little fight get in the way of that. I'm not. This is not some silly little fight. This is a court rule mandating moving the woman who almost killed you into the house with your family. So, if you gotta do this. I do. Good. Well, then I gotta move out, because I don't want to be responsible for what happens here. But no, you, let me tell you something. Don't push it, okay? Don't. Jake, come on. This is crazy. What's going on? He says he's moving out now. Jake! Do you always have to turn everything into a drama? Oh, 
Okay, now I'm being dramatic. This from the Marie Callas at Bay City. Now, I, I know I'm at the funny farm. I mean, everyone is so nuts here. I'm the only one noticing, so you know what? I got a split. What makes you so sure that I'm the one you're looking for? Your eyes? When I looked into them, I know it sounds crazy, but I knew the two of us were forever. And I think you knew it, too. You'd just been hurt. You didn't let yourself feel it. You'd be right. Do you feel it now? I feel something new and so strong. Amanda, I would die for you. <laughs> Let's hope it doesn't come down to that. Well, I was just trying to say that death isn't an obstacle. I see you in an old-fashioned duel. I do. You have this incredible sense of honor. <laughs> I need that. Do you know what I would like more than anything right now? What? Tell me. Say no more. hope you like takeout, Joe, because it looks like you're going to be eating it for the next 20 years. Hey, give her a break, oh, will yeah, you? Yeah, sure, I'll give her a break, no problem. It's too bad the jury won't. Now, are you going to level with me? I told you everything, Cass. Great, you don't need me on this case. Get yourself a leader. Cass, no! It'll be better for you. Look, Pauline is in a bind. If she's holding something back, she has a good reason. Joe. So she is holding something back. She's protecting me. Joe, are you crazy? Paulina, let me talk, please. <sighs> After Grant was killed, you know, Paulina took the papers out of Grant's pocket, the ones that said that she sold her baby. Yes, that I know. Okay, but you don't know that I replaced the papers with blank ones I got from Donna's desk. Did anyone see you? Tony came in, saw me leaning over the body, and I made up a story. Is that it? <sighs> After Grant died, his private eye, Freeman, came to me and started blackmailing me. So I stole Grant's strong box from the police evidence room. Oh, God, Wanted to get Freeman's prints on it, on the box, and on the cash inside it. So I'd have something to hold over his head. Met him on the docks. I was going to try to scare him into leaving town. <sighs> Didn't turn out like that. Guy keeled over from a heart attack. And there's a witness, a homeless guy, puts me at the scene at the time of death. They got my voice on 911. So yes, Cass, I'm in this whole thing up to my elbows, and that is what Paulina didn't want you to know. Well, I'm rendered speechless. Tony could charge me with evidence tampering. She could charge me with obstructing justice and probably a whole lot of other things, but uh, she should give me a break at the moment. Did you confess? No. Well, thank God for small but she's put a lot of the pieces together by herself. I can't believe you thought you could get away without telling me this. I'm sorry. Yes. I just couldn't make myself say the words. Hey, 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 look. She loves me, Cass, all right? What can I say? We don't want to hurt each other. Does Tony think that Paulina has anything to do with no, this? No, absolutely not. She thinks I acted alone to protect my family. Any other little secret you want to share with me while we're at it? No. So you're going to keep the case? Well, given that this, this is exactly the kind of nightmare I specialize in, yes. I'll call Walker and ask that the trial date be postponed. I mean, even Clarence Starrow would need more time to process all of this. Thanks, Cass. Oh, no, 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 Joey. No, you don't get off that easy. From now on, you tell me the truth, the whole truth. And nothing but. Absolutely. I mean it. Or I'm off the case. You got it. We got it. Thank you. How are you doing today, okay? I'm just glad to see you. You know what? It'll be gladder in a little bit. Because I got a surprise for you. No, no, no. You're going to like this one. How did you arrange this? Ah, Tony bent rules a little bit. She said she wanted to do something positive for a change, okay? Now, close your eyes. Close your eyes. Okay, come on. 
Come on, come on, come on, come on. Straight ahead, straight ahead. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Stop. Ready? Stop. Look, mate. Open. It's mommy. Look. Whoa. Hello, <laughs> mommy. I want to show you my latest masterpiece. Here it is. How do you like it? Oh, my boy. Is... Oh, baby. Oh, baby, baby. I missed you so much. I hope you're doing okay without me there. You. Hey, Tati. Let's show Mommy what we can do. Come on. Come on. Come on. He was doing it early. <laughs> Mother has a right to see your kids. For bringing both my boys here. I promised you that I would take care of your boys. Both of them. And I keep my promises. Oh. Well, I've caused enough havoc for one day. But listen, no, Tyrone, listen. I don't care what a judge says. I'm not going to stay here. Not if this is the price. You're not going anywhere. Less I won't than two let hours. You. Less than two hours, everybody's in everybody's throat. You know, something that wouldn't have to be that way if you would oh, just I listen know, to I a little know. reason. I, that's... I think you all think I should just get over it, practice selective amnesia like the rest of you, but I can't because that woman, that woman almost killed my only reason for living. Now, I'm sorry. But that's what Vicky is to me. When I made when I made the vows to protect to protect her and love her, I meant it. They weren't just words to me. I live by them. Look at what you were doing to Marley with this guilt trip. And when I picked her up this morning, she was standing on her own two feet. She was ready to start living again and being her own woman. But now you people are already turning her back into that little girl who doesn't feel she has a right to exist. Oh, you are so blind. To what? To how she operates she maneuvers herself like this she maneuvers herself into this place of of helplessness that's what she did to me you know something this is why i can't stay here because i cannot be responsible for what i do to her your threat is duly noted what? tyrone let me tell you something jake if you harm one hair on her head you will answer me first and the court second is that understood very clearly that's why i have to leave jake this is not the way to handle this all right i can't stay I know that you don't want me involved in this at all, but you can't expect me to stand here and watch you destroy yourself and everybody else just so you can assert your male supremacy. Only you, Donna, only you could take such a complex situation and turn it into its most base, insulting level. Only no, I'm you. sorry. That, that's not stop. what I'm doing you stop? At all. Please. Stop it. Would you give Jake and me a minute to talk, please? A minute alone? Now I've become the problem. <laughs> I'm not the one running away. You're not leaving. You're not leaving. No way. His hands. he likes is you build up the blocks into a tower mm -hmm. and he knocks them down <laughs> that's a game oh yeah and then you do it again and again and again and after a while three hours have passed <laughs> wow that sounds like fun <laughs> Sorry, barge in here. hey Cass, what's the word for judge walker well it's not good he won't grant a postponement not only that but he set the trial date to tomorrow what he can't do that well joey did well, we need time to prepare. I mean, Pauline is never going to be ready to take it's the stand. It's okay. It's okay. How can really? you even say that? Because the sooner we get this over with, the sooner I can see my family and be home. Right? From your lips to God's ears. I better hustle back to the office and start preparing. I'll, I'll walk out with you. What is going on? Why, how, why is Judge Walker doing this? Grant's murder is high profile. I guess he wants closure. All right, straight. 
Give it to me straight. What does this mean for Paulina? Nothing good, Joe. Nothing good. You can't leave. What about the promise you made to love me until the day I die? Stop a second. I'll always love you. I always have, I always will, but I just can't stand around with my hands in my pockets while your sister takes advantage of you. Could, could you please just you know, give it a couple of days? That's all I'm asking. Look, this isn't home without you here. Could you just, just give it some time and... Would you please stay here with me? Please. I'm sorry. Uh, remember, I I'll just I'll go up to my room. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm sorry again. I, I'm, I'm not sure which room I'm supposed to go to. Well, why don't you go to the basement? You and Vicky can have a slumber party, be just like old times. Wait, wait. Where are you going? Huh? I don't. I don't know. Look, you tell me that you're coming back. All right. I think the ball's in your court. I know you, you must be very tired of hearing me say this because it's all I seem to say lately, but I'm so sorry. No, uh, no, it's not your fault. You didn't do this. I did this. It's David Halliday. Hold all my calls. No interruptions. Thank you. Amanda, your time has run out. It's Amelie's time now. Tomorrow on Another World. Right now, there is a very sick boy in there, and I want you to take care of him. It appears Sergei is going into bone marrow failure. How much of my life do I have, Doctor? I'm leaving. No. I'm not asking your permission. Amanda, do you're not Don't leaving. Give me a direct order, ever. Who are you? Focus! Focus! 